The Discovery Channel presents Typhoid Fever. This bacteria is rod shaped and the gram stain is negative. Typhoid fever is spread from person to person through the ingestion of contaminated food and water. Flies transfer bacteria from one place to another through food, which spreads the disease even further. Poor sewage systems contaminate the water in developing countries. Raw meat is full of the bacteria of the animal, which is then spread to humans. The most common symptoms of typhoid fever are headaches, fever, stomach aches, rash, and the other symptoms are weakness, lowered heart rate, loss of appetite, and bloody nose. Travelers to developing countries are more likely to get typhoid fever because they are exposed to the contaminated foods. Typhoid fever is most common in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Eastern Europe. 21 million victims are affected worldwide. In the U.S., 400 people are affected and 70% of travelers are travelers. In 1910, chlorine caused typhoid fever cases to go down to zero. In 1935, the last outbreak happened with 175 cases due to insufficient chlorination of public water. As you can see, this graph of outbreaks of typhoid in the U.S. has declined greatly since 1960. Travelers to foreign developing countries still have a risk due to the lack of clean water in the country, although this pathogen is only about a 5, seeing as the risk is not lethal, but it still requires antibiotics to be treated. Minnesota has very good clean water, so the pathogen is not lethal in Minnesota at all. To limit the spread of typhoid fever, before eating any types of meat, make sure it's well cooked and healthy looking. Another way to limit the spread of typhoid fever is to make sure all sewage is properly taken care of in the area that you live and to make sure all water is clean before you drink it or use it for anything. One way to prevent typhoid fever when traveling to a developing country is through a vaccine. Doctors use this usually one week before you are to travel. If you are infected with the disease, you are given antibiotic therapy by doctors. A local restaurant was linked to an outbreak of symptoms. As a health inspector, what would you do? As a health inspector, I would close down the restaurant and test the water immediately. If the water tested negative, I would thank the restaurant for their cooperation and allow them to continue their business in peace. If the water tested positive, I would help the business find the proper chlorine to add to their water so that they could continue their business as soon as possible. As for the people that may have stopped in at the restaurant, every person that would allow a test done would receive a typhoid fever test. If they tested positive, they would receive antibiotics to get rid of typhoid fever. If the cause was not the water, it must have been some type of raw meat that was at the restaurant. I would also test any type of meat that the restaurant may have been feeding its people. And if that tested positive, then I would only test the people that may have eaten the faulty meat.